tackle junkies what's going on everyone really appreciate you guys and gals clicking on the video in today's video we're going to rig up the biospawn vial tube you guys know the drill over there code tj10 will save you guys 10 bucks on orders uh 25 dollars or more but i do believe it's this week let me look real fast uh the 17th through the 23rd is members week so if you're not a member now's a great time to join you get a free gift with each purchase of $25 or more and $50 or more site-wide scavenger hunt up to 40% off a select Guggen lures awesome savings and discounted items it's a free 30-day trial guys link down below free 30-day trial if you don't like it you can cancel it didn't cost you a dime I do believe it's like 49 bucks for the year if you choose to join but you'll get that right back in savings after just a couple of orders. Your biospawn is always 30% uh, off over there at Carl's. And during some of the, uh, the sales they have, it's like up to 50% off on your biospawn. So definitely head over there, check it out, linked down below. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the rigging. I was tossing the bio tube earlier today on a four rot Mustad EWG. And I said in my last video, or one of my last videos, to use the biggest hook that you can get away with. And this one here is like absolutely max, all right, four rod. So you can get away with it. But what I noticed with this hook, or at least that four rod hook, it was sliding off the head quite a bit, even with the grip pin on there. So I'm going to run a three rod hook moving forward the way I got plenty of plastic up on the eye. Okay, but you can totally run a four rod if you choose to, but we're gonna run the three rod. We got a Mustad. This is actually their tube hook here. Little Mustad tube hook. I got a link for Mustad as well down in the description. TJ81 gets you guys 20% off over there at Mustad. But the first one's just going to be your basic Texas rig, okay? We're going to use a quarter ounce uh, tungsten weight. We're not going to peg it. Of course, if you want to punch a tube, go ahead and peg it. But just for how I fish a tube, I'm not going to peg it because the, the tube has the fall on the action. Or I guess I said that backwards. A tube has the action on the fall so i don't like to peg a tube just because i want it to fall and kind of flutter down and doing its own thing if you peg that weight it kind of falls just a bit too fast and it kind of loses the action and this bio spawn too it's kind of got these like these wing deals on there so it kind of really glides down there so again i don't want to peg this tube and kind of kill the action of it but there's the tube there you can kind of see those little wing rocket ship kind of deal on there like i said it kind of glides down so i don't like pegging um pegging the weight on my tubes especially this tube here but like i said if you want to punch it go ahead and peg it so anyways we're going to run 15 pound and we'll go over the combo at the end here but 15 pound is a cigar a braze x again i'm not going to peg it i got a quarter ounce mustad tungsten weight here you put the tapered end on first okay and then we got that three yacht mustad ewg here palomar knot i do have a video on the palomar which i'll link down below but you guys can also try to follow this video as well the deal with the palomar knot guys and from the jump you do not want to cross those lines okay don't cross the lines okay Double line through the eye. Little overhand knot here like you're tying your shoe. Okay. Let the loop kind of relax there so you're not twisting it. Grab that loop. Bring the hook through the loop. And then I grab that loop with my finger. Okay. Grab the hook. Wet the line. And I pull both the main line and that tag end. Okay, cinch it down. I've never had an issue with the Palomar knot and fluorocarbon. You tie it correctly, you won't have any issues. Okay, so cut our tag end off here, like so. It's a little long there. Okay, and grab our tube. I love this color. It's like that Bama Crawl type color there. Pretty straightforward here. I go in to the bend, and this is a hollow tube. It does not have a uh, solid head, hollow all the way through. 
Just go into the bend, I come out, slide her up, give her a twist, and then I just line it up with my thumb here. Go in and out, like so. Then I'll just kind of pull that plastic forward just a little bit and try to bury that tip in the plastic there the way you're completely weedless. And that is your basic Texas rig with the 3.5 vial tube. Got my weight here. Like I said, I did not peg my weight. And there's your rig. Okay. Now let's step it up a little notch here. Let's go ahead and cut this off here. Actually, we can leave the hook on. Take the tube off. I used to throw these a ton years ago. Got my little box of tricks here. I got these tube weights. And I do believe these weights, I, I think they're um, the Bass Pro XPS weights. I got all sorts of sizes in here. So what we got here is a tube weight. You can insert in the tube and it's got a rattle. You guys can hear that there. This one here is only an eighth ounce. Again, I don't like to go too heavy. I don't want to kind of kill that action on the fall. But you'll see there's a hole there in the end and on one of the sides. Okay, so when you insert the hook in the plastic, the idea is to go through the head and then out or go through the top here and then out the side. So I'm going to rig this up here. Just going to slide that weight in the tube there. And you can feel that uh, that hole inside there pretty easy there, so. Okay, slid it in there, get my hook here. We go through the top and then just kind of feel for that hole in the side there. There we go. So I'm through the top of the weight and I'm coming out to the side of the weight. And then you just complete your Texas rig. That eye will slide down in that hole then you just line her up, complete your Texas rig like we did before. And now your weight is inside with that rattle. Okay, that's really one of my favorite ways uh, to fish it, just like that. Again, don't go too heavy on the weight, but now you got your weight and rattle inside the tube. Okay, that's really the main two ways that I rig a tube. And I do have a video, how to fish a tube, which I'll link down below. Definitely check that out. But another way you can rig up a tube, let's go ahead and take it off the hook here. Okay, take the weight out. Now I don't really fish it this next way really at all. I don't really fish open water. I fish pretty stained and muddy water. I'm always fishing around cover, so I don't like an exposed hook. But if you guys are on, you know, bigger, cleaner bodies of water, small mouth, I'm sure a lot of you guys rig them with just a bare jig head. So we got a jig head here, little jig head here. So you can go ahead and shove that in the tube, right? And that's basically rigged up. You pop out the eye and you tie it on, you're good to go. But if you want a little flash, I got something pretty cool to show you guys here. I'm sure you guys are familiar with rapid fishing. They got these deals here. They are called the tube jig spinners. They got them in large and they got them in small. Code TJ81 will save you guys 25% off over there. But what they are, take a large one out here and you get a handful per pack with different blade styles and colors in the chrome, the gold, willow, and Colorado. And what you do, I'm sure majority of you guys have the hook all tool. I've been promoting that tool for many years. Love that tool, super handy tool. But what you do is you got your tube hook here. There's the eye. Slide that over the hook point there. Get your hook all tool. All right. Get the hook. Poke it through a disc there. That'll keep that jig spinner on your hook. And now you got some added flash to your tube. That's pretty slick there, man. Again, pick them up over there at Rapid Fishing, linked down below. Okay, rod, reel, line. Like I said earlier, 
15 pounds Seaguar or Brazex. And Bizex is a good choice as well, but I'm using a tube to work the bottom, so I do prefer that a Brazex. Rod, this is the Akuma Psycho Stick, seven foot two, medium heavy, fast action rod. I like anywhere from a seven footer up to a seven four for a Texas rig rod. Just depends what I'm doing with the bait. If I'm looking for more accuracy, I like that seven footer. If I'm looking for more distance, I like that seven two to seven four. The reel is a Shimano Metanium and a seven one. Anytime I'm using the rod to work the bait, I like a bit faster reel like a seven speed. Guys, that should wrap her up, man. And really this goes for the first two rigs that I rigged up as far as the tube jig um, hook goes. I don't do that much, so you guys can go ahead and leave a comment down below on what equipment you would use on a, uh, a tube jig head. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you guys and gals watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys, and we will see you guys on the next one.